Now, fireworks are expected for the second running of the prestigious Mute Mile, with a blistering pace likely to be set, with at least seven runners in the 16-horse field expected to be among the headliners, including the 3-to-1 overnight favourite Atomica and American importee Rough Entry. Denise Walters has our racing preview. Horse of the Year Atomica is unbeaten in her last five starts, and the Don Webby owned four year old chestnut filly has a lot to prove in this event after finishing ninth a year ago behind excessive force. Since then, the exceptional filly has only lost once, which came on her seasonal debut in 2023, and with customary jockey Dane Dawkins back in the saddle, trainer Gary Sabrati is confident of a better showing this time around. Well, exercise has been very good, very good. She has done everything we asked. But all horses have done everything we asked. And she's more mature now, so she's, I expect a better run this year than last year. Stablemate Duke, who was last year's runner-up, will have veteran rider Alain Bonga John Mirage aboard. Well, every horse have a chance going into a race. It depends on how the race is run and what. Sometimes always look to find the best shot and put it there. Mahogany, who is second in the anti-post odds at 72, has the speed to get the job done, having gone close to three track records in his career. With Robert Hallidine returning to the saddle, the Ampassade trained talented six-year-old chestnut gelding is peaking at the right time. I don't think Mahogany is a really true steer, but he's a really good class horse, and what he really needs is a good ride. You know, with a good confident ride, um, you know, he will be able to get a mile, I have no doubt. As to whether he can get a mile and beat other good horses is left to be seen. Uh, but we're very confident in the ride and we're very confident in the horse. One of two overseas jockeys is said to ride tomorrow, Daisuko Fukamoto, will partner Richard Azan's perfect brew. The four-year-old bay is considered a good closer and is one of the live outsiders that could spring a surprise. I got up one, uh, I like the big race for uh, Mute Mile. I took him like two days ago. Yeah, I think he is he's good, you know, he's uh, very good. Here, my horses are in good shape, but I'm going to need all the luck from all the horses to be able to win these races. Azan will also saddle 2,000 Guineas winner Mojito with Paul Country Francis astride. Another speedball, She's My Destiny, who will have champion jockey-elect Ryan Lewis in the saddle, has been blazing the exercise trail. And the flying five-year-old chestnut mare should make her presence felt, despite coming from gate one. Um, it's not ideal, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we just have to try to get a good break and um, hold our position. I think my chances are good. Uh, it's a very competitive race, but uh, Destiny has been meticulously prepared for this race. The informed blue vinyl, who is also another dangerous contender, should be coming off the pace. Interestingly, radish sneaky fox Roman will return to the saddle, having not ridden him since last year, replacing Javanil Patterson. I have to sit behind the speed to have a chance, so I really love the tour. My jockey don't have to rush him out. Let's get a good break, relax him, and we'll see what's up. Patterson will instead partner the imported runaway Alga, replacing customary rider Roman. We did some blood works on him, and we found out that there were some abnormalities, and we um, are doing some remedial. We did some remedial work and some rebuilding, and that's where we are now. We're happy with his progress. Happy with how he is. Meanwhile, all eyes will be on Rowan Crichton's rough entry, who will have Frenchman Julian Leperot in the saddle. Rough entry enters the Mute Mile as an impressive winner at Gulfstream Park in Florida on September 23. A strong on the pace runner, he won at seven furlongs in February, doing one minute 22 and four. Two Sundays ago, Rough Entry galloped the seven furlongs in one minute 30 out of the mile shoot and galloped 59.2, going five straight last Saturday. The likes of I Am Fred and Is That A Fact are also expected to match pace with the speedy headliners. 4.45 p.m. is post time for the 16-horse field vying for an attractive purse of U.S. $125,000 or approximately 23 million Jamaican dollars. First post for the 11 race card is set for 10.15 a.m. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.